Sorry, that was a little bit of advertisement noise. Let me just turn off, turn that off. Welcome to a brand new streaming of a game that I'm sure you, many of you, are very familiar with. But I am completely new to this game, along with its entire franchise. I'm one of the few people on Earth. I'm part of the endangered species that have never really played Final Fantasy games. Uh, that includes some of the most uh, popular titles like Final Fantasy VI, VII, I guess, latest to fifteen. Uh, these are some. I I really don't know anything about them. It's, I think I may have saw some Final Fantasy movies, but without playing the games, those movies make no sense to me. And uh, I have heard that the spirits within really has nothing to do with the game anyway. So what I'm about to play is the first game, and I I know Final Fantasy are largely independent、uh, storyline wise from each other, so I really don't have to play this from、uh, chronologically speaking. But I kind of like to start the franchise from its very first title just to see how a franchise may grow and progress. It's kind of my thing. Also. I should tell you that I'm playing the PSP version because the the NES version, frankly, doesn't look all that good today. And、uh, some of you will be mad that I said that, but yeah, I know PSP version is among all of its other ports might be the one with the worst reviews. But I I see most of the complaints is is about it didn't really add a lot of content to the original game. But、uh, I'm I'm okay with that because I have never played the original game, so any content here is new content to me. Besides, they did know that the graphics have been updated considerably, which I guess is the least it can do.、Uh, being that the jump from、uh, NES to PSP is a pretty monumental one. But anyway, that's all I got to say beforehand. I guess、uh, I probably will not finish this. I'm just. I, this this kind of game is not for me, so I'm really just giving it a try for its historic importance sake.、Uh, I feel like I should give my respect to the franchise if I want to approach some of the more modern titles, may which I might be more interested in. But Final Fantasy is not the kind of franchise that you people usually say like the first one is the best one or even among the best one. As far as I'm, as far as the As as far as I know, barely anybody ever co- goes back to talk about the first one. I guess, but it's also not like Street Fighter. People just say the first one is bad, and then the franchise never、uh, is only good from the second one onward. So I guess the first one is something that、uh, set the foundation right, and、uh, everything else just kept piling up on it. In the end, it's kind of buried、uh, inside its own legacy, but. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's not for me to judge.、Uh, I've talked enough, so I guess let's run this. So it's a Square Enix. I know this in the early Final Fantasy games is kind of between Square Enix and Nintendo. They release on Nintendo titles, but from the seventh one, they start、uh, on the PlayStation titles. Okay, so it's about some crystal. <laughs> of course, it's some crystal. It's a JRPG. Of course, a crystal is going to be involved somehow. By the way, let me know whether the music is too loud or is my voice too loud. Dragon. Okay. This guy is kind of special. He has the crystal that, I guess, this magic that re- enables him to repel the dragon fire. By the way, I know this this part couldn't be in the original NES game. So I guess that's a cold opening. Yay! 
Let me guess, the crystal is cursed or shattered, aren't you? Ah, that's a nice music. Yeah, even I, who have never played the game, know this music pretty well. It's rather iconic. So yeah, I'm playing the PSP version, I'm playing this on PC, so just to record it. I don't really have a PSP machine, it's on an emulator. Uh, I try not to play games on emulator, at least not on this platform, but for this one, that's gonna have to do. Oh shit, it's not working. Uh, okay, this is awkward, please bear with me for a while. I should have had the control mapping done already, I don't know what went wrong. Well, I guess I have to reset these. I'm setting these uh, like I would a PlayStation controller, even though I'm not really using a PlayStation controller. Wait a second. Analog. No, analog should be this. So D-pad, oh yeah, D-pad, I'll just use the PlayStation D-pad. Even though I'm kind of using the Xbox controller connected with the PC. Rapid fire, do I really need those? Now I guess this is it. Yay, it works. All right, Final Fantasy. Finally, I'm about to embark on this journey. Whew. Let's hope I... It's in Japanese. Oh no. Oh, I can choose English. <laughs> Give me a, quite a fright. Yeah, I think it's a Japanese slash English version. You don't see a lot of those these days. Uh, so I'm guessing assign each character's name and class. All right. So these four are... They're in our party already. I can... I'm not just choosing one character, right? All right. Uh, warrior? Wait. Oh, I don't have to just use warrior. I can choose between white mage, red mage. Well, I don't have a red mage. I also don't have a monk. What do they do? I, I don't know nothing about them. So do I need warrior, thief, monk, red? What, what is the difference? A uh, red mage is proficient in both black and white magic. So what about white? Supports the party with white magic. So why the fuck would I want a white magic instead of a red one? If the red one is good at both. I don't want just... Uh, fuck. Oh yeah, but I also have a black mage, damages opponents with black magic. So if I have a red magic, then that just means I have the exact same thing, except to half the volume, I guess. So if, so I'm guessing red mage is for people who don't want all that magic in their group, but they want a, rec a little bit of all uh, both kinds. I, I like magic, I, fuck, what am I supposed to do? Also, shouldn't I be naming them? I don't see where I can name them. Let's say I'm satisfied. 
Oh, this is hell. Okay, warrior. I, I think I'm satisfied with the with the party here. I'm just gonna use these four. But what do I call them? Uh, what would be a good warrior name? Let's see this guy. What does he re What does he remind you of? Warrior. Let's call him Steve. Because Warrior reminds me of Golden State Warriors, which reminds me of Stephen Curry. I mean, that is Stephen instead of Steve, but it's similar, and their head coach is called a Steve Kerr, so yeah. Pretty good reasoning. At least good enough for me. Uh, the thief would be a good thief. I mean, he's dressed up kind of like Link, so I'm just gonna call him Link. Why not? <laughs> I suspect this may be the most fun part of the game for me. Alright, we have Steve and Link. What about you, little girl? The white mage. Hmm. Uh, what does what, what do you think of when people say white mage? A white wizard like Gandalf or Saruman, but those are boys. How about, now that we are on the track of Lord of the Rings, what are some of the female characters in Lord of the Rings? Oh my god, there are so few of them. You know what, we can't just dwell on this, so let's just pick a normal female name, I guess. Mo Just say Mona. I see Mona Lisa, I guess. That kinda sucks, but there's some there's some sense of mystery in the name Mona, so I'm just gonna go with it. What about the black mage? This guy looks like a little goblin thingy. A gnome? So I'm just gonna give him. I'm just gonna call him a word because I think it's funny. I don't even remember. I don't even remember where I got the name word from. Some something, somebody in something was called word, and it wasn't a totally dignified game, but uh, name. But I don't. I don't remember what it was. Okay, begin game with this party. Let's go. Ooh, Omnus. The world lies shrouded in darkness. I wish I can get Kate Blanchett for this. I'm moving the mouse away. The wind dies. Oh, there's the good old NES graphics. Well, slightly better. The seas rage. Also, the proportion is obviously not in yes. So this is some kind of dungeon that I gotta crawl into. The earth decays. But the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. Of course, there's a prophecy. When darkness veils the world, full warriors of light shall come. You think people who make prophecies are just doing it for the sake of it? After a long journey, four young travelers did at last appear, and in the hand of each was clutched a crystal. How very convenient. Oh no, it's the Infinity Stones. 
Wow. Uh, okay. That was an opening. So I'm looking at Steve and I'm going to town. Cornelia. The king is searching for the prophesied words of light. Th those crystals. You must see the king at once. Okay, there's no voice acting in this game, I guess. So... I guess I'm the voice actor. Oh god. Oh god. I did not expect this. Should have prepared for it. <clears throat> Welcome, travelers. I'm told you carry crystals. Is this true? Oh yeah, crystals! It's just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Mm. Uh, this is the Chancellor. Your Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. Yet, they stand before me. Us, with the crystals. I cannot dismiss this as mere coincidence. Crystal Bearers, there is a task I would ask of you. Will you not rescue my daughter Sarah? Okay, if your daughter is kidnapped, it really means nothing that you're showing this guy's confidence. Because you're desperate, you would grasp at any straw. Garland, a knight, once in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. So it's a guy called Garland? I ask for your aid in the name of His Majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves already, but Garland is the finest swordsman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. So, of course, it's up to us. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. The bridge leading north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. If you can rescue Sarah, I will have the bridge rebuilt as a sign of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. How about you just rebuild that bridge as a, because you are the king, and it's infrastructure. And you need that for diplomacy, for fuck's sake. Uh, let's talk to him. The dancing girl in town knows many odd bits of information. If you stray from your path, try talking to her. She may know something that can put you back on course. The dancing girl? Like Esmeralda? The warriors of light have come at last. How long we have waited for this day to come. Garland is no longer the man I once knew. I beg of you, please return my daughter to me quickly. So, that's the same dialogue. <sighs> I'd, I'd like to hear me talk a little bit clearer since I have to voice act. It's really not my forte. I, I can't even shake my own accent, let alone voice somebody else. Mm, the gang is searching for the prophesied warriors of light. Th those. It's the same thing. So do all the guards have the same dialogue? That's kind of depressing. Your castle is so void of personality. Who are you? Garland was once the greatest knight in the kingdom, but power consumed him, and he lost the sight of who he really was. And who might that be? Please, please save Lady Sarah. Oh god, I can't wait to uh, watch the view back and uh, see you and listen to my, me talk pretending to be girls. That's gonna be horrifying. How do I get out of the damn... Oh. I am Jane, Queen of Cornelia. Please, please bring my daughter, my Sarah, back to me safely. I can already tell I'm already running out of voice options. Hey, 
Hey, there's the second floor. The king was searching for the prophesied worries of light. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. Guess it's common knowledge. Oh, this is where you are. I was on the second floor. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna explore your castle a little bit. This is the queen's house. Oh, her chamber, I should say. So there's nothing more in this castle. Uh, this is a pretty boring castle, I must say. What about the exterior city? Something interesting in there, maybe? I mean, shouldn't there be someone to sell me weapons? Isn't that how it works? I should be going north, right? So I should get out from here. Whoa, what? Oh, I'm at some civilian area now. Hey, talk to me. This is Cornelia, the city of dreams. Okay. I guess this girl just hangs around the city gate all day and waiting for any travelers to tell them what the city is. How about the inn? There are usually some characters in here. Please come in. We charge 30 gil per night. Would you like to stay? No, I don't like to stay. I just started this game. Wow. <laughs> What is going on in this room? What the hell are you doing? I would be most happy to teach you about equipment, but you can't listen. Nope. Even though I'm completely unfamiliar with this game, this franchise, and the genre as a whole, I still know how to fucking equip. If you need to know about items, you've certainly come to the right person. As long as you're here, why not here, eh? Nope. So these are tutorial old men. Fucking old men. They, already, they always want to tell you. Uh, it's always life's lessons with them. They're so boring. I'm not listening to anything you say. I know everything I need. Oh, okay, so that was the that's what the inn is for. Hey. Hi there. I'm a dancer. What's that? You want to dance with me? <laughs> oh, she's the Aren't you supposed to give me some information? I mean, that was kind of useless of you. Oh, hey. Look at that, this, this might come in handy. What would I like to sell? I have exactly nothing. Wait, I don't even have basic weapons? What the fuck? Maybe I should have learned about the equipment. Um, okay, the knife. Attack and accuracy. I already, ha oh, I have 500 gill or gill. Is that, how do you pronounce that? I'm gonna call it gill, just for now. Uh, okay. Uh, the knife, the rapier, the hammer, and then charcoal. I'm gonna buy a knife. Maybe I should buy all of them just for basic weapons. Then charcoal for a thief. Oh wait, I should give buy a rapier, which is kind of a sword, I guess. Staff. Knife is just a small knife, it won't do any good. Uh, who, who, which one of you will be using the hammer? I'm gonna buy another staff because I have two mages. Uh, the hammer just for safekeeping? Okay. About okay, doesn't have shoe, doesn't have helmets. His clothes are all ordinary because I don't I don't have anything for him yet. Link. P 
he can only use the knife. Ah, I thought he was going to be able to use the nunchaku. Guess not. Is optimal kind of automatic assignment? That's interesting. Mona uses staff. Worked. He gets the knife. That's weird. I don't want him to use the staff too. Cause I don't. I can't imagine a knife being too useful, especially for a black mage. What about magic? I guess I have to buy scrolls. Is that what you usually do in these RPGs? <laughs> There's a person here. Oh no, it's not a person. <laughs> oh shit. Get out of the way, Bush. I once lived far to the east of here in the harbor city of Pervoka. These days, I hear it's turned into a pirate's den. Really? I must visit it. What is this? Tea? Oh, poison. Restores HP. I, I would not. Uh, this is where I, I, I uh, waste all my money. Phoenix down and a sleeping bag partially restores HP. Phoenix down can revive a killed ally. That's very useful, but I don't have enough money now. Please rescue Lady Sarah. Yeah, that's what I'm setting out to do. There are no in need of my services. Do not lose heart, brave warriors. What are you? What? What service do you offer? Are you a priest? So, to what service do you refer to? Hey there. The king truly believes in Lucan's prophecy that the warriors of light will come to save the princess. Is the prophecy that specific? Like, a princess is going to be kidnapped? Oh, look at the shadow. That's pretty cool. Is that an indication of a cloud passing by? That's really awesome. That I, I, I doubt that's part of the NES graphics anyway. Oh yeah, I don't have any shield. I suppose the warrior should at least have a shield. Or clothes, I guess. Ordinary clothing, leather armor. I'll take a leather armor. Don't have too much money, so I'm just gonna save a little bit now. Hopefully, the first mission will not be so difficult that I won't be needing too much of it. Oh, please, you must rescue the princess. What's it to you? And why are you blocking the shop? Find anything to your life. Okay. Cure restores a little HP, deals damage to all undead foes. That sounds useful. Protect raises one's defense, and the blink is to raise caster's evasion. I guess it's for... I'm gonna leave for now, I just wanna see what this game is offering. Fire. Fire, sleep, focus, thunder. So these are magic. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get a fire for for wart and a sleep for what is my girl's name? Uh, Mona. Wait. Mona can't learn the spell. Why is it? Oh, these are black black magic. Got it. I gotta go to the white one for the white girl. The white girl meaning the white mage girl. So... <laughs> and she can deal damage too. It restores a little HP. I don't know if that's how useful that is. I mean, 
maybe it's cool because she only uses magic without items. But how many... It would also ex exhaust her magic, right? I don't know, let's just go with it. Alright, we have pretty much used up all of our savings. I hope the king appreciates our efforts. What are you doing, old man? Sage Lucan said something about finding the crescent moon that he just up and left town. Oh, so it's a prophecy of our own time. Huh. The way they said it, I thought it was like a millennial ago, but it's something that happened pretty recently. Well, in that case, you should give you should take a grain of salt with that prophecy. I mean, it could be self-fulfilling. I mean, the guy who if I if I make the prophecy that a princess is going to be kidnapped, and the second day the princess is kidnapped, I will be the primal suspect. What about these other places? No, there are no other places. It seems that wherever I go to, this is Cornelia. So... I should be going to the north of the castle? Uh, isn't this supposed to be where I find the encounters? I can't cross the bridge. Can I see my uh, objective right now? Oh, she had the first battle! The goblins! Okay, I'll just attack and see what happens. No, guys, hit the... Just, yeah, just hit one person, one at a time. Yeah, I think we can just attack this one too. Goblins don't seem to be that hard. Last one, baby. I'm not gonna do that every time I win a battle. Here we go again. Ah. Term based combat. Not exactly my thing. And here we are. This is kind of why I suspect that I will be going very far in this game, because I have no patience with this kind of game. I know I should have, but I don't. Where the fuck is Garden? Oh, it's in the forest. I can't. Ah, oh, it's still goblins. You missed! Shit. Okay, Steve is almost dead. Steve, you might want to take a poison. I don't know if I want to waste that. Maybe I should just. Ask Mona to heal him. You uh, heal him, you magic him. Your Steve. Uh, Ward is fine, just fucking attack. Oh shit. They're doing good. But the order is a little confusing, it seems. Like, who is determining the order of action? Oh, Mona fully healed Steve. I guess, I guess I just don't have that much HP to begin with. So even a little bit of healing is a full heal. That's both reassuring and sad. And everybody is leveling up. Good. Am I even going the right way? Oh, my maximum health has increased. Good. I don't mind a little bit of grinding. Hey, is this where I should go? Oh, shit. Right at your doorstep, Goblin Guard. 
Am I attacking the Goblin Kingdom or something? Alright, let's still just focus on one enemy at a time. You are totally missing us. Yeah. The Chaos Shrine. I don't know what this is. Princess! Answer me if you hear me. Do, do I get random encounters in here? Uh, hello there. One of my characters dies, he can revive them. Who can revive them? I I know you can revive people with Phoenix Down. I don't have any of that right now. Leather cap obtained from the chest. Speaking of which, maybe I should have saved the game. Can, can I save the game? Ah, oh, fuck, I'm using an emulator just to, just to use emulator to save state. Oops. Some skeleton. Oh my god, how original. Uh, well. Oh no, I'm pressing the wrong button. Alright, let's just group one guy. Oh, wow. We're doing pretty good. All things considered. Although, Steve is um, almost dead again. Fuck! God damn it, Steve! Why is it always you? Exploring. Ow! This is bad. It's a ghoul. And. Cure Steve or cure yourself? I mean, if she dies, you're pretty much fucked, but. Yeah, cure Steve God damn it, Wart. Wow, he hits hard. Uh, then you heal yourself. Can you bring one of them back? Uh, I don't think it's working. Ah, oh, fuck. No more magic. Well, that fucked up. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> the party was defeated by a ghoul. Ah, oh, damn it. Luckily, I have safe state. So, we need something like a different strategy for this guy. Wow, Black Widow. Yeah, I'm... Let's just attack first. I guess help yourself first. I don't know if these spiders are really all that strong. Okay. Please don't be a ghoul. Two zombies? I didn't realize I was playing a zombie game. Fucking zombies everywhere. But they're pretty easy. 
this is I'm getting to where I saw the zoo uh, the the goal last time. Let me just work out the okay. So this is the save state. Wait. What is the load set? load state is F4. Got it. What is going on? Okay, it's working. Just checking, just checking my cheating mechanic is working. Skeletons? I ain't afraid of no skeletons! Oh shit, some of my health are dangerously low right now. I should probably take better care of them. Since they don't really regenerate health in between encounters. This door has been bound by the mystic key. The mystic key, you say? Princess, if you are in there, knock the door three times. Okay, it's a maze. I have a bad feeling about this. I get lost in places like this a lot. Oh no, the ghoul. Shit. Okay, uh, let's use... Poison. Ward can be fully healed by Mona's magic, so... Use it on yourself. Link. Uh, use another item, I guess. Because we need really full health to deal with this guy. Your wart and wart you fucking fire this guy. Let's see if this works. Okay, wart survived. Whoa! Thought it was a bigger deal than this. I'm again bound by some mystic key. Ah, uh, the mystic key is bullshit! What the fuck is even going on? Um, shit, let's attack the easy one. And... Aw, oh, man. How do I restore magic? Shit! This is gonna be ugly. Ooh. Items. Knife, poison, hammer. What's the hammer gonna do anyway? Uh, I really should have saved that for a Phoenix down before leaving town. Uh, this is bad. Oh, I can flee? Yeah, I'm gonna flee. Lee. Wait. But what about what about Steve? I'm not succeeding in this. Uh, we all have to be fleeing, right? So Okay. I lived. Flee faster, god damn it. Is this really where I'm supposed to be to progress the story? I, I'm so confused. Fucking Steve is still dead. I need to get out of here. I need to go back to town. Maybe we can still do it. At least the... Oh, 
that we still won by some miracle. We're getting out of here. Fucked princess. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Link, I'm kind of counting on you, so you take a quick poison. Magic is not. Alright, you take a poison too. Because I need you to, to kind of survive through this. Ow. Ow! This is not a good start. Ah, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Why did I go so deep? We're leaving! Please run faster. Out of hell, but still kind of dangerous place. Yeah, this emulator isn't entirely working. There are glitches somewhere, so we're gonna need another potion. Yeah, you too. We really need to grind a lot in this game, don't we? Why aren't you running? I mean it when I tell you to flee. I fucking commit to it. Oh god. Run. Ah. <laughs> uh, the prophecy is shit. Good God, let's let's stay at the inn. Would you like to stay? I guess if it recharges me. Pleasant dreams. Oh, you just happen to have a room of four beds. <sighs> this is going well. Well, how do I make some money? Oh, God. Did I, did I ever go into this room? Oh, the, this guy. Who would you like to raise? Oh, it's... It will cost 40. I have to revive them? You mean a good night's sleep can't bring a dead man to life? That's ridiculous. Fine, fallen warrior. Okay. I will, I will allow that. I mean, there's really no choice but to do this, right? I mean, if your if your local if your local priest can do this, why do you even worry about the princess? Just let her be killed and then revive her later. Oh fuck! Please rescue Lady Sarah. I have no interest whatsoever anymore to rescue anybody. I need money. Uh, let's sell something. The, the hammer, nobody's using the hammer now. Uh, what about 
Leather armor. Oh shit, I bought the leather armor and I'm not even using it. Hmm. Nobody's using the nunchaku. Ah, um, they're barely worth anything. Steve, are you? Leather cap and the leather armor. Yeah, I want Steve to be strong. Cause Steve is my guy. Whew. So we have no money. We have very little equipment. Still need. Still need poison. Just, there's no getting around without them. Partially restores party's HP. A sleeping bag? Oh, gonna be used outdoors. That makes sense. I mean, how many times can we use a sleeping bag? If it, it can be used multiple times, then it's a bargain. So I'm guessing at this point what I should really do is just to get outside and repeatedly meet random enemies to get good to get my levels up so I don't have to worry about all those scary monsters in the castle. Uh, well, I don't know if I like that. Anyway, that's my very first taste of Final Fantasy 1. I, I guess I'm gonna drop out now and uh, overall I... I don't really have an, a, a real opinion on this game yet. I guess you can say the mechanics are kind of dated, but it's a classic mechanic and uh, I guess it really just works. Uh, I think the graphics look really nice, but of course this is the remake. Especially I'm impressed with this cloud. The, the shadow of the cloud just drifting by, it looks really nice. But anyway, this is not a game that I intend to commit to a very long time. So I really just wanted a first impression on it. And let's take a peek at your reflection in the water. Oh, you are filthy. Wash up already. <laughs> just say that at the end. What the hell have you been doing, Steve? Did you not take a shower? But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to return to this. So if this is the only episode of Final Fantasy I do, I'd say if you're a hardcore JRPG player, then you already played this! Who are we kidding? Otherwise, I'm... I don't know, I think there are uh, other games of the same genre that are more... that are maybe better for uh, people who are not that much into this genre like me, like myself, like maybe Earthbound or Chrono Trigger. Some of the more recent ones, like uh, Octopath Traveler, that may be more, uh, more our cup of tea. But anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Final Fantasy. I may return to this world, I may not, or I may just play one of the sequels next. But either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.